Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome to another toy hunting video. And I start this one the same way I started the last one in my bedroom in front of my mirror so that you can see my outfit. I don't know, I'm just having fun with that <laughs> recently. Um, but it's like today is just the flea market day. I just go to my local flea market. Uh, that means I have to wear my jacket anyway. So, um, yeah, but let's do the introduction here. Um, today is the first day my local flea market um, is opening up again since like December. And um, let's see what we can find. It's a small one. I don't plan to go to other flea markets because I am still not sure which ones are really open and which ones not. So flea market season, quote unquote, has not really started yet. So, um, and um, as this will just be a short part, I guess, <laughs> um, I will put this together with the Monday flea, mar flea market, the Monday toy hunting, because tomorrow I also have a day off and on Tuesday we have um, bank holiday. So let's see, um, okay, bank holiday means there's no, no shop open. So I have to do everything tomorrow. I'm really excited. I want to visit Three shops of which one I don't know what that actually is if that's something maybe there's nothing then it's just two three, uh, two uh, two toy stores so and um, I'm excited let's go to the flea market and then let's see what the video uh, evolves into okay so here I started rummaging through this random box of toys most of it it's more like maybe from 10 years ago so actually nothing really vintage more that i don't know there's a schleich figurine and that random cheapish children's accessory stuff mm. but this um little bag looked a little bit more promising you know there's some toy brushes and combs and uh, some little figures so i um started uh, trying to find what's in there oh, well this was just a little Simba doll and I think the only thing that was kind of interesting yeah there I try to find it this um, monster high brush Ah, Pussy Bear. Do you remember? I mean, if you're from Germany, this children's magazine. I still, I definitely remember it. Also Bummi. Bummi and Pussy. <laughs> ah, Mickey Mouse magazine. But, uh, ah yeah, this was another random box of uh, dolls. Nothing really interesting in there. Uh, except this um, jumpsuit. <laughs> this jumpsuit she's wearing actually belongs to a Capri Barbie. But, well, the doll itself was... I couldn't identify it. I think a random knockoff doll. And <laughs> this is actually quite cute. Don't know what it is. So the real treasure, actually I found at that table. A nice um, vintage Mickey Mouse wallet, a pony cake, and a really nice 80s Barbie. There's not a lot going on today. It's just some stands. But I've already found something. So I consider myself lucky. Oh yeah, and one of these knockoff mix of troll and dinosaur things pretty ugly would not pick it up Yoo-hoo! so i'm back from the flea market and i just figured i would again like in the last uh, hunting video show you the stuff i bought today right now here um it was sure you saw it, it was not a lot that i filmed but i'm super happy with what i got um at first another barbie uh, i i didn't talk when i was filming it but i immediately knew what barbie she is from her face i could recognize her as uh, jewel secrets barbie so she's actually pretty easy to recognize because of her eyebrows well one side is a little bit rubbed off i don't know if i can like um like repaint it because it's 
uh, her eyebrows are like super super small paint brushes separate ones so not one eyebrow but separate paint brushes and uh, yeah she's an 80s Barbie you can also tell that by the way she's rooted and her makeup is done uh, she's from 86 or then 87 released some somewhat around that time and this is not her original outfit although this is original Barbie fashion also from the 80s um, and I just quickly <laughs> researched right now so um, I actually would be wearing something else I, I know that I can show you I have it in a magazine I showed it to you before also around Christmas time so this is the look of Crystal Barbie actually she has this dress that you could um, that's like closed at the bottom so you could use it as a little sack to carry around your own <laughs> belongings or you put it on Barbie and then it is a long dress otherwise it is a short dress with a little ruffle on at the bottom so very iconic jewelry for her and you can see her here she looks way more like light blonde but I searched already there are versions that are more like a little bit darker because with Barbies from the 80s it is really that there is a lot of variation a lot of variants depending what country they were made sometimes even the, the um, face paint looks different or just the hair um, she's not in a super good condition because like of, of course missing earrings and missing the ring uh, this hand is a little chewed off um, and the feet are also a little bit chewed off not super nice but I will put shoes on it so that's okay um, and then this little hole here I think actually uh, probably it was rooted there because the rooting in the 80s for Barbies was not that nice it was pretty uneven sometimes the front very big spots so uh, plugs sometimes so the rooting in the 90s uh, was done definitely better I think she had still her original hair length just need to restore it a little bit and um, Maybe I can show it to you again when I'm done. And this outfit I also found pretty quickly when I was searching for it. Um, it's called, um, it's from the uh, Party Sensation Fashions. Uh, these were all uh, fashion packs, always with, you know, very neon, bright, like skirt, top, tights, uh, or in this case, your lace um, um, uh, leggings, and an instrument. And uh, they always came with, most of the fashions came with a hang, like uh, a keyboard that you could hang around your shoulders like, like a guitar, you know, that, that typical 80s thing. I don't know what Barbie would do with a keyboard at a party because <laughs> those fashions were called party sensation fashions, but uh, very lovely. They, uh, these fashion packs are uh, from 1989, so full on 80s. Um, I was hoping one day to find uh, this Barbie just for the for the cool like face paint with the uh, small paint brushes at the eyebrows so very happy um, same vendor I picked up this um, I like these things this is definitely um, like Disney from the late or no yeah late 80s early 90s something like that it doesn't have a date it just says Walt Disney Company Sunday Hamburg and then made in Hong Kong uh, Mickey Mouse it is a very easy like like wallet more like for for your I don't know for your paper money but I will use it I have already tried it out it fits perfectly to put in my vaccination pass um, I, I have it um, also uh, digitally on my phone but I always carry it around and here's the certificate blah 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 so um, it fits into my wallet even with this little um, wallet again so I have this wallet inside my big wallet and I'm very happy so very nice and actually probably the best find this little cake uh, at first I didn't even see it because I just saw it from from the top like they were uh, all these things were at the same table the same vendor and uh, very open just just um, I didn't have to dig in tubs or something it's a My Little Pony Generation 1 wedding cake so this one goes to 
pony bride and I don't have it yet so it is amazing that I found this accessory and it's in very good condition so it's not yellow so this one can yellow obviously because it's normal like um, plastic Ooh, it's trying. and uh, here so it has these super cute like pony statues <laughs> getting married and uh, all around it's uh, white with some some nice sculpting and then stickers and the stickers are not peeled off a tiny little bit here at the back it starts but it's in overall wonderful condition so my wonderful pony bride uh, finally has her cake I've never bought it separately because most often when you find these cakes online they want to sell them together with the pony bride and I have already two pony brides at one point I had three pony brides and this pony is absolutely one of the most common ones to find now I have the cake that's amazing she also is missing the ring and uh, the lace veil don't have that yet but I have the cake so <laughs> um, so I got this this and the Barbie together for five euros so it was like she wanted 50 cents one euro and four euro for the Barbie and I said can we make it five so that's, that's a good price for me um, well where's the other thing ah here because I also picked up this <laughs> Uh, which is a monster high brush this can you see it um, I don't collect monster high uh, but I have one monster high doll that I picked up at a flea market uh, last year and I don't know I like to have a brush for the doll why not <laughs> I can give it in, like laid in her hands and they pretty much I think all look the same correct me if I'm wrong they all have the skull uh, with the bow here and say monster high so uh, 30 cents for this one and that was my little haul for today so let's see how the ne uh, next days go uh, see you there and so hello everyone the next day let's see what we can find today uh, again I'm starting with my outfit because I don't know I'm feeling like I'm doing <laughs> that right now turtles pullover and pretty much pink and white and this, by the way, this is always my bag where I have like my camera and like my phone so that I can grab it fast and I can start filming. Um, so yeah, as I probably have said multiple times now, I try to go to three uh, stores today. The first one is one that I have been before in 2019. It's quite a long time ago and it was closed for a pretty long time during the first one and a half years of the corona stuff that was definitely closed so um, and uh, since then I have not had a chance to go there let's see it's a very small one I don't know if I can film there I hope and I don't think that I will find like girls toys because he had actually last time already said he doesn't buy any girl toys anymore um, there uh, so probably it's just I don't know the second shop I have literally no clue what's that gonna be because it just says um, online, it says An und Verkauf, Spielzeug An und Verkauf, so toy, buy and resell. And um, I don't even know if this store is still existing. So who knows if this is because, you know, I find it on Google, etc. But does it mean that it's existing? No, I have been to a toy store and it was empty. And on Google it said it's open. So I have no idea. And also the only picture I find is the window front. Uh, that shows lots of like more like adults antique dolls so but if it's there and it's open who knows if this person who's <laughs> running the shop doesn't have like a box of ponies in the back room or you i don't know i want to go there and see if it's something that is worth going or it's something that i will never return to and then the last store i will go to toy box i have been there it's quite a while mostly has new stuff mostly has like action figures um, but last time I found some like vintage Star Wars and he has also vintage stuff. I found the snuggle bump there. So who knows what this guy has in store. Uh, so this is the third stop and let's see how it goes. See you at the first store. So here's the first store. It's called, oh, can you read that? Spielzeugparadies. So toy paradise and you're greeted by a Power Ranger, so let's go in. Okay. So 
from the layout of the store you can directly see it's even smaller than like Onkel Philipp's Spielzeugwerkstatt and it's still it's packed full of stuff. Again, I will probably spend here quite a long time to go through everything. Oh, the sun, you can't see anything. And I don't know, where should we start? I mean, over here I've already seen uh, lots of LPS. I've kind of stopped getting them. I put away all of mine. I think they're still super cute. But I just, I just can't get any more. So, and I mean, I immediately saw all those ponies. I think, as far as what I can see, most of them are fakies. But there might be some interesting fakies in there. I see some McDonald's. This is definitely a, a G2 McDonald's one. This is very cute and I really like it. So I think here's the same one again. Yeah, that's the same one. And this is, might be another one from McDonald's. It doesn't look as cute as this one, so this one. I'm pretty tempted <laughs> getting this one. So, oh, here's one of these, but in in pink. I have that one in, um, in yellow, the garland fakies, which are really molded after the um, after the merry-go-rounds so that's a good one so these are I don't think they are they are kind of <laughs> fakies of fakies because they're molded a little bit after the Remco ones that's not interesting for me no it's not interesting for me but the good thing is I think all of these fakies are vintage so there's not a lot of, I mean, this, this, this one is probably newer. But most of the fakies are vintage. So this is cute, I like those. Those are the glowing ones. I think this is glow in the dark. I don't have a yellow one. Love that one. Yay! So a lot of Simba fakies. Whoa. Very dark blue. Only they had a cuter face. So let's see. I think there's another one. It's a green one. Oh, I like that one. So this one already looks like it's glow in the dark. With this one, I'm not exactly sure, but I think I think I'm really interested in those. So. And there's yet another one. But I do have that one. I think I exactly have that one. I'm not, ex not, not, I mean, not exactly sure. I have an orange one. So what else do we have here? It's the same one. It's another Remco one. Oh, it's one of these. I have one of those, the, the standing ones. Uh, more Remco fakies. I mean, they are not even Remco. I think they are fakies of Remco fakies. Okay, these. These are quite cute. Because they are kind of um, in the baby ember pose a little bit, but... I have two of those, so, and I also, these are also, these are very nice. They also have the molded on saddles, like the uh, merry-go-rounds. I have two babies of these, so. And look what we have here. Here is another one. So I think I have more like this color, not this color, right? I think, yeah, I think I have that one. So I might be getting this one and leaving this one. This one would be ideal. It doesn't have any tail anymore, etc. for rehairing. Because I like to rehair them with glow-in-the-dark hair as well. So they are glow-in-the-dark body and hair. 
what else is there? Let's put them here. Because I want to see what's in the back there. This is a, a ballerina, a baby ballerina fakie. Oh, I mean, I don't want to have it. But I'm pretty sure, I mean, I had one real baby ballerina pony. And I might have had more of these fakies. Um, this one's also quite interesting color. More of the big Simba ones. The um, Ponyland ponies. Another one of the dark blue ones. Ah, yeah, these. What's this? This looks interesting. Oh yeah, that's one with the giant head. Giant head and... Ugh. This is straight up creepy for me. This is straight up creepy. Um, these, I don't know, these also have a name. Does it say anything? No. They're not Leonard. They are something else, but it's all fakies. Fakies of fakies. What's this here? Mm. No. And there's another one of these. They have. I mean, who in the in the world thought that these would be cute when they designed them or when they <laughs> produced them in the factories with these eyes? Like. Who, 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 who would think this is cute? I think this is horrible. So nightmare fuel is not gonna get into my house. <laughs> this, to me, straight up is nightmare fuel. I definitely should buy this one. <laughs> it's a morning glory. And you know, I kind of have an army of morning glories. So why not add the McDonald's version to it? <gasps> this is a little digivice from the second season. Aww. Which was my favorite season back then, the second season of Digimon. I know, nobody likes that one. Everyone's always just first season, first season. Oh, this is very sweet. So they also have lots and lots of games. PC, uh, PlayStation 2 and Xbox and all that stuff. So, Schleich a lot, which I also, I find a lot free market, so... Oh, can you even see? There's even Digimon in box. And... What's that, an old elf? <laughs> Oh my god, lots and lots of Dalmatians. What are they? Are they all from like McDonald's and stuff? Probably not. Ooh, I guess someone gave their Dalmatians collection here. Snoopies, more Schleich, and Pokemon. And I don't know what else. Diddle. <laughs> What actually is this electronic mascot? Looks like a Pokemon knockoff. Like a Charmander knockoff. <laughs> There's lots and lots of figures from uh, Kinder Surprise eggs, which they were, they used to be really collectible. I don't think that they go for a lot right now anymore, but there's also some action figures. Turtle, turtle comic magazines. 
Oh, that's cool. Some more turtles. More turtles. More turtles. Look at comic magazines. Yeah. Gargoyles. Some Star Wars comics and Guardians of the Galaxy. And there's more turtles. But that's all. Cannot really see the date, but it's definitely vintage because it's still in <laughs> in D Mark. So <laughs> and lots and lots of figures, loose figures, giant Tie Fighter. And Arnie up there, and lots of dragons, and uh, whatever. More games, Game Boy Advance here. What is this? <laughs> For a moment, I thought it's TikTok from the Hook toy line. No, it's not. <laughs> More Pokemon, a Digimon. Oh, this is Star Wars. Ooh. Can I have a look? Oh, nice. Love it. I think it's a little bit too big, but I really like it. It's from episode two. I honestly have forgotten what it's called, but it's one from the arena on Geonosis. So. Mm. But it certainly would look amazing. Lots and lots of cassette tapes. And just look what I found. Yay! So it's 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 a lot and I've just <laughs> had a look for a second. So let's go through it. If I can see something. Something sometimes it's easier if I put the camera away and look and then I show you. Rainbow Bright and lots of Sailor Moon and I was not into Sailor Moon but I know a lot of people are so this Sailor Moon cassette tapes oh very old Wendy I just recently got all of my old Wendy cassettes back and here are some nice boxes full of Star Wars figures. This is a pretty good looking uh, vintage Darth Vader. So I put him aside and uh, basically all of this, uh, all of these figures are like from vintage to pretty new. So everything in between. Um, so it was definitely worth looking through there. Oh, yeah, I was really sad about this Aura Singh missing her uh, tail completely at her head. Ooh, Cat Bane again, but I have him and he is missing his head. But you know, Cat Bane is pretty relevant since the Book of Boba Fett. Ah, oh, vintage Chewy. Not bad. Not bad. There's quite some vintage figures in here, to be honest. Here's a prune face. This is also vintage. I don't know, it's something from uh, one of the guys from Jabba Sail Barge. Oh, prune face again. This Bosk is not vintage. I think I have him. So, no. Oh, that's Dengar. Yep, that's Dengar. Oh, poor clone trooper. Poor clone trooper. This is also a Weequai. Also, like from Jabba's Sail Barge from um, episode 6. Malu. No idea. This is a guy from, I think it's in the, the Naboo pilot from episode one or something. Oh, Panaka. Do I have Panaka? I definitely have the other guy. <laughs> Don't think that I have Panaka. This is a Clone Wars figure, but why does look Obi-Wan so strange? What's 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 this outfit? Don't know it. 
Oh, chewy, oh my goodness. Oh, this is a really nice R2. I think it's vintage. Oh, I want that one. Oh, it's amazing. The back metal is so shiny still. Love it. Lando. But he's missing his um, his helmet. That's um, his disguise from Return of the Jedi. So this is really sad because it's Sam Vassell and I love her. She's a changeling from episode two. And you can see her real, her human face and this is her real. But she's missing an arm. Is this arm maybe in the box? I found the arm. Isn't that perfect? Look, it's magnetized. Oh, she definitely goes into my pile. I love her. I think she still isn't that complete, right? I don't know. I wanted to cosplay her like long ago, but it's such a difficult costume and probably would never be able to get that fabric. It's like a dark purple neoprene that I would need and oh my goodness, but. And I found this episode one um, I think it's one of the board racers. So fun. Well, that's rather interesting. Because this is definitely the mold from the Barbie horses. But it's tiny. What is this? Oh, it's just a piece. Oops, just a PlayStation 1. <laughs> on top of all of the horses. I think all the rest is just like farm animals and stuff like that. Yeah. Big Power Ranger. I don't have a single Power Ranger. I just, I have never been into that, so. Why should I? But it's it's kind of for history. Oh my gosh. Oh, this poor turtle. No. No. I don't even know if this was a real one or it was a um, fake from the beginning. But oh, this poor ninja turtle. That's Jurassic Park. That's Ellen. Oh, this is nice. He's very loose. But it's another, I don't know, probably a Power Ranger knockoff guy or I have just no idea. Looks like a wrestler. Oh, who knows? That's probably Mummy's Alive, if I'm not mistaken. It's Hasbro, yeah, it's Mummy's, it's Mummy's Alive. Oh, he's from Small Soldiers, but I think it's just a McDonald's one. It's, that's more Mummy's Alive, it's both Mummy's Alive. Ooh, crazy back metal thing. Hot Wheels. Batman! Oh, it's a Kenner one. It's a Kenner Batman. So... Not a Toy Biz one, but one from the... Well, Kenner had a line in the 90s of, of Batman toys that were like... Oh, crazy variants, like there was a Batman with... I don't know... Ice, or... Batman with a cameo suit, or... Whatever Batman, and he, some of them were crazy colors and stuff like that. Could be one from, from that line. So I just have I have no no interest in Batman. Not even watched a single Batman movie. I'm sorry. Oh, that's biker mice from Mars, but it's like I don't know. It's a rubber 1994. You can't take it off, but it's definitely biker mice from Mars. Interesting. 
Oh, this is Mr. Freeze, if I'm not mistaken. So, Batman villain. He looks cool. Oh, still Kenner. It's actually cool. So probably from the same line as the Batman we just had. Oh no, another super poor turtle. What has someone done to them? Could be dragonflies without the launcher, obviously, but uh, it's like the boy version of sky dancers. Sky dancers, you know, the dolls with the wings, you could launch them and then they would fly. They were recalled because they were too um, dangerous for children, causing damages and hurt the children and dragonflies was the boy version i don't know if that's one from them but it very well could be it doesn't say anything but it has something here to put on the launcher so i'm pretty sure that is dragonflies this is a shira cape oh um hell yeah i'm taking it i can give it to my second starburst shira This is definitely from Hook. This is Hook from the toy line. Ah, there's missing something here. It's also something super shiny back metal at his back. It's actually quite a cool figure. I think these could be movie dolls, but I just, with newer Barbie, I'm just not really knowledgeable. Mariposa, maybe? Ugh. Oh, it's a jasmine. Just a head here and some new adults and some horses. So there are some horses. Ooh, oh, he's cool. Ken. Quite fashionable. So. Pocahontas, the naked Pocahontas and I have a Pocahontas dress at home. Hmm. Uh, this is a Mycene. This is a Mycene doll. Probably not a Mycene outfit. Stuffy love, more stuffy love. She is really cute. She's definitely late 80s. You can see that by the eye makeup or early 90s. She's discolored. Her like chest is a little bit discolored. I mean, you could easily um, retro bright that, same as what I do with my ponies. But yeah. Oh, here is the doll without the head, so that's probably the one. More Ken, and this is probably Steffi Love. No, that's also a 90s doll. I think this goes to Cherry Mary Muffin. I don't actually need it, it's a topper of some of the play sets and see like here's a monster high I just picked up a monster high brush I don't need another one <laughs> this is actually a mycene brush this is a mycene brush so it goes to her <laughs> the 
like there was a mycene uh, doll within those. I don't exactly know. Oh, he's a Mighty Max. Oh, wow. But, um, yes, Mighty Max. Perfect. Open up more. There's lots of stuff. Yep. Okay. So I found a G3 brush. I think this is an old Barbie comb. I can't remember where that goes to, but I have seen it. Oh no, that's not interesting. So what's in? Oh my! Oh my god! 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 Oh my god. <gasps> this is this is a Polly Pocket knockoff. <gasps> ah, the one with the yacht club. Uh, wow! A Mighty Max and a Polly Pocket knockoff. Oh. And another Mighty Max. So it's the same one, right? Yep, that's the same one. Crazy! <laughs> this one is more complete. Barbie and this is a Barbie horse brush, I think. Another G3 brush, probably won't get them, but this is a that's more interesting because this is a um, pony fakie comb. Hmm. No, it's Simba. Wow, what is this? Pocahontas! This must be a Pocahontas comb. Oh, yes, it's flit. Wow, this looks cute. I don't know where that's from. Probably a bigger doll. Something in the lines of Little Miss. It's not Little Miss, but something similar, I guess. Barbie shoe. <laughs> oh, here's another fakey comb. Red brush, not comb. Oh, this is from a G3 or G4 baby pony, I think. Like from the big ones, I mean. And there's lots of fashion poly. This is all fashion poly. All of these small accessories here. I mean, not all, but a lot of them. A red brush. It's also cute color. This is a G2 Princess Comb. Generation 2 My Little Pony Princess Comb. Yes! Wav Loves. This is from Wav Loves? Wav Loves, isn't this one of these electronic, similar to Furbies? I think so, Wav Loves. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah. Lovely barrette. Oh, here are Barbie shoes. Other doll shoes? I have no idea. <laughs> I 
Here's another fakey pony. You can put that to the other ones. So. So freaking many Barbie brushes. Guys, there's so many of them. I will just pick the coolest colors. Don't, don't buy all of them, obviously. Oh, this is so cute and pastel. I don't know. Um, hmm. Oh, this is very, very cool color. Mint green. I think this is the last box that I will go through, which is Barbie clothes. So, oh, such a fun scrunchie. Want to have that? Some flowers. Big cape. Guys, do you know what that is? This is... <laughs> yesterday, yesterday I found a Jewel Secrets Barbie at the flea market and this is her skirt. This is Jewel Secrets skirt. It doesn't have the... It's, it's like a drawstring bag and doesn't have the string. And at the... Oh my... I, I can't believe that. This is like literally... <laughs> Guys, can you believe that? I found this matching skirt to the doll that I found yesterday at the flea market. Okay. <laughs> I, I just... Uh... Okay, what else? This looks cool. I don't know what it is. Blast. Beat Blast Barbie's dress, the purple version. I have a Beat Blast Barbie still at home. Might might pick that up. So this is from Rollerblade Barbie. I have her, but I've always only seen those super, super damaged because it's kind of a fake leather material and it's so, so crumbled. It's, it's, I would not pick that one up. So no, sadly not, but this is original jacket from um, Rollerblade Barbie. Okay. That took definitely longer than expected because it's such a small shop. But I was not expecting that he had so many drawers full of like, Barbie brushes. And um, uh, so I probably think that I will <laughs> cut the video here. I will end the video here. Maybe I put a small. Um, haul in the end but the other two stores today will be another video because it's uh, it's just too much I didn't expect to happen so many interesting things for me okay yeah I'm back home it's not the same day but I want to quickly show you uh, what I got there let's get this through quite quickly I picked up a couple of these fakey ponies you saw them uh, these three here are some of the uh, glow-in-the-dark fakey ponies. I think they're from Simba Toys. Uh, in German some people say Blue um, Esel, so they are more considered to be donkeys. I think they're quite cute. I have some of them already. Now I have a kind of a rainbow going on. This one, one of the garland fakies, very very cool color. Obviously the hair of none of the ponies is in really good condition. This is the best I could do, so at least it's smooth but it's very thin etc. So anyways, these uh, from the McDonald's fakies, I just picked up one, uh, not fakies, 
from the McDonald's ponies. It's not a fakie, it's a McDonald's G2 pony. I just picked up this one. I decided only for the unicorn. Quite cute, right? So, goes into my Generation 2 pony collection. Uh, a couple of Star Wars things I actually got, and these were actually the only things that kind of cost something. All of the rest was more like thrown in, but this cool episode 2 Reek, it's one of the creatures on Geonosis. Then a couple of figures, this Lambasel, where you can remove the changeling head, you saw that. Um, an episode 1 pot racer. Darth Vader and Chewbacca, oops, both are vintage. So he comes with a cape, which is really cool. He can put his lightsaber out. They're just hilarious to me, but um, yeah, they are vintage. Uh, original 1977 Star Wars figures. Um, yeah, and I got R2-D2, he's not vintage. Uh, as I what I thought in the video, but he um, is from 1995. So the first part of the Force line still a very cool like um, back metal dome so probably my favorite that I picked up um, from the big box with like broken action figures these were my chosen ones here this is Dr. Alan Grant from the original vintage Kenner Jurassic Park line not in a good condition I, I already cleaned him so he looks okay but uh, I'm not a picky collector you know that I'm just happy to put some somebody into my Vintage Jurassic Park collection. And Hook, Captain Hook from Hook, yeah, from the Hook movie with, uh, with Robin Williams. So there was a Mattel toy line, this is one of the figures and he just looks cool actually, part of it. his back is missing something else that you would put on, on him and like cannons etc. You can put the mask down. Um, just a fun thing. Very unique look. Um, audio cassette tapes. Oh my goodness. My Little Pony. Birthday cake episode. Rainbow Bride. Episode 7 and episode 16. Love it. And uh, I chose for the Muppet Babies. Their covers are really cute. And I've never listened to them, so one of my friends, uh, Mikuru, she, she's into them, so maybe they're good. Let's try out. Two of the best finds, definitely. Knockoff Polly Pocket, Lovely Kitty. So they are, some of them are out there, some are called Kitty Princess, some of them are like this uh, Lovely Kitty. Um, without figurines, but you know, they, I have some of the knockoff figures that I can put in here. Yacht club, tennis tournament, very funny. I cleaned it, polished it, it's quite nice again. Very happy about that. And a real Mighty Max. One of the small ones, this is called uh, Mighty Max <sighs> Battles the Skull Warrior or something like that. This eye is removable, so it's actually not empty. You can take this part out here. And it's like a weapon for the figure in there. There would be two figures uh, coming with that one. But happy enough to have that Mighty Max from 1992. Uh, Shira cape, anyone? Um, I have two of the Starburst Shiras. Now I have another cape. I can put it on. Uh, it's not in the very best condition, but I, I'm not sure if this pink tone is just like bleached. Is it discolored? Or was it from the beginning a different pink? Could be. Wouldn't be surprised if there are also variants out there. Um, yeah, I picked up lots and lots of brushes and combs. So this is a well, this is the Wafflofs um, brush. Four Barbie brushes. Fun colors. At one point, I want to have a Barbie brush rainbow. <laughs> uh, this is also from Barbie. Same as this. Same color, it could be from the same Barbie. I think this is from Working Out Barbie or Working Out Teresa better. I think, I'm not exactly sure. Two fakey pony combs brushes. So, and uh, this one's from a Pocahontas doll. It 
it's not from that one, but uh, it's a very cool, uh, very cute uh, comb with a slit on it. Yeah, I picked up the Pocahontas. I had that dress in one of my like uh, big Barbie lots that I got in big Barbie fashion lots, and I was I was looking for a Pocahontas without clothes, and that was the best. I, it was amazing. Her head was loose. I could repair it because the like the neck joint was still in a hat. I just needed to repair some part here in the front, but that was okay. I gave her a really good like boil wash. Her hair is so smooth and she looks amazing. So, sun color Pocahontas. It's the sun color Pocahontas dress and the correct doll. It's, it's like... I wasn't actually sure if it is the correct one, but because even back then there were several Pocahontas uh, dolls released, but like this is not the correct um, uh, belt though, but Pocahontas came with a um, uh, golden belt. Anyways, yeah, it's just Pocahontas is my favorite uh, Disney movie. Um, for the theming, not, not for, of, of course, it's 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 historical accuracy is really like controversial of course um, but for the theming of being one like with the nature and and this everyone's like equal and, and that she she doesn't choose the man in the end she chooses to stay with her tribe with her family and all that stuff and the music like Pocahontas is so um, to My Little Pony uh, real My Little Pony combs, both from Generation 2, one of the princess ones. With this one, with this one, I was not sure if it's from My Little Pony or something, but it's Generation 2 My Little Pony. So, um, Digivice from Digimon uh, Zero Two, so second season. Is it from Takeru? Is it from TK? I think. Ah, uh, my favorite Digimon season back then, so um, couldn't resist. I picked up two of these hair clips. This one is more probably from myself. Uh, and this is more for my ponies, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I picked up lots of these uh, cool hair clips from probably the 90s. It's it's you can do a lot of cool like hairstyles with them especially those you know those from back in the day where you put all of these hair clips here we had so many more i definitely want to go back and buy more um i picked up a couple of barbie items uh in in terms of like fashions this dress beat blast barbie's dress uh this is beat blast Last Barbie, although this colorway came with a blonde Barbie. Uh, she's not my Barbie, but I still have her. Um, I will send her off, but uh, that's what you can do with these cool hair clips. <laughs> they are not original to her, but uh, she came with similar hair clips, so why not? Picked up this dress. Um, actually, just picked it up to show you because in the last video I got her, so both of these Barbies will go to the same girl. Um, woman, whatever, to the same human being, I will send them off. And um, uh, I just picked up this thing, you can see, this is one of the arm like details, sleeve details that came with uh, Flying Hero Barbie, like this is Marina obviously blue, but Barbie had it in pink. So just to show you, Think, I'm not sure but you can you could probably like attach these this cape to it and then it's, it's a little bit like the Starburst Chira, right um, yeah this I just picked up because I wanted to show it show it to you because I was talking about this Barbie recently and the best Barbie clothing find the dress from uh, Jewel Secrets Barbie I just found her the day before the flea market like what a coincidence I styled her hair really nice so, let's see it here, soft curls, amazing condition now, and um, the skirt is like a, like a drawstring bag, it's like a little sack, didn't come with any ribbon, but I put just ribbon in to be able to uh, pull it together. I just found this uh, top 
in my Barbie fashion pile. It's not the original one, but the original one looks very, very similar. It's a small dress. And uh, also this is not original, but she was wearing a huge um, choker necklace style thing. So what a coincidence that I got this Barbie the day before at the flea market. And um, now I have her here. I just was looking at something missing though I think I showed everything to you so what an amazing haul in my opinion so if the comments are open comment down below if you enjoyed that or whatever you want um, or just give it a thumbs up so thank you for watching see you real soon in the next toy hunt <laughs> and so the same day actually it continues uh, may the toys be with you bye